One of the most successful 8x8 wheeled armoured vehicles in recent history is the Finnish Patria Armoured Modular Vehicle. That was developed in close cooperation with the Finnish Defence Force and as of today around 1,600 have been built or are on order. And of those probably well over 95% have been export. And the vehicle has also been manufactured under licence in a number of other countries, for example Poland. And in the future it has also been selected to meet the requirements of the South African National Forces and that is called a Badger. But people today want more volume, more payload and more protection. And that is why this vehicle has been developed and recently launched. This is the Patria Armoured Modular Vehicle XP. Extra performance, extra payload and extra protection. It has been shown before being fitted with various weapon systems, but this time, for the first time ever, they have shown it fitted with the Leonardo Defence Systems HitFact Mark I turret. This is armed with a 120mm smoothbore gun, which fires standard NATO ammunition. It also has a hunter-killer capability with both commander and gunner, provided with roof-mounted sights. The commander's sight is panoramic and allows him to search for targets and if confirmed with hostile, hands it over to the gunner and he carries out the, the actual fire engagement. The Mark II turret, which will probably be fitted to any production applications, has been selected and entering production for the Italian army on sort of the Centauro II 8x8 mobile gun system. So the main advantage of this vehicle over perhaps tanks is you can deploy it over long distances under its own power. With tanks, you normally have to put them on heavy equipment transporter. Also, you notice this vehicle has a covering, well, that is a Barracuda thermal reduction and camouflage system. So that actually reduces the signature of it. So the vehicle is about 32 tonnes. And in addition to this vehicle, which you could call a mobile gun system or probably a tank destroyer, you can have it as an armoured personnel carrier, command post vehicle, and so on. So, First time shown at the show and we'll soon go back to Finland and probably do some firing trials.